project is to put a three point inch on the tractor. The idea is to have a, an implement, maybe a blade, something like that. I'd like to have this itch to lower and uh, lift the uh, tongue of the trailer itself. I, it could avoid me to go down and go up just to hook the uh, trailer. That's the pin I will use for the uh, lower arms. On the top arm, I reuse those two holes. This is half inch hole threaded holes. I'll make a bracket for the third, uh, the upper link. So that is a one inch by two inch, one eight uh, tubing. I will also put a link in between. Just make sure that they raise together. It's not going to be like a regular tractor where there's the swing, sway bars and then adjustable uh, individual links. It's going to be all together. I, I don't aim to have any uh, implement going like this. This is pretty much how I want to have the setup for the hook for the pin. It's going to hook like this. I'm going to have the arms, like this. There will be a slide angle because I want to offset a little bit the uh, width of the current uh, holders I have on the uh, tractor. I'm going to use a plate like this. It's a inch and a quarter by half inch. I cut that maybe at that eight. Well, it will go pretty much like this. And this block is a has a inch and a quarter long, and it's a one by one. So actually, what it will do, I will back up to the implement. Will hit that. I will lift the arms and then go in front. Like this and this one I, I'll put some uh, attachment to this just to block it like this so it should be uh, well locked into position setting pieces together for welding is an art So I have my pin, three quarter of an inch. I don't want to weld on top of this and having no, no play or moving like this while you weld. That's the kind of stuff that happens all the time. So I have to clamp it down, but I don't want to rely on that small block. Actually, it's not perfectly straight. Actually, I cut this with a handheld lancer so I have to clamp it like this it's really difficult what I do instead of using a round pin I use a three quarter by three quarter of an inch tube so I'll be able to clamp this way like this I use also a small piece of a 16 of an inch, could be less than that even, to make the proper gap. And I'm going to clamp this like this, like this. So I don't want the uh, top of that going further than the diameter of the pin. It doesn't need to go further than that. So that's another thing that I'll be able to fix. Now, if I want something straight, I'm going to move that a little bit further. OK, 
Okay, I'll be able to clamp this down. I'll have a lot of welding this way, this way, because inside I, I, I won't have any space or any room to uh, make a good weld. I might just put a small bead, but not that much. So that's why I'm keeping a lot of place to uh, weld. So as you can see, I have to hold them down here like this. So it comes out really nice, small plate, not too much, just enough, so I won't have any issue with any uh, alignment that could not be perfect. That's for it. So I have to offset this and this end of one inch, not more. So I'm having... 19 and a half in between uh, those two holders inside of the uh, tractor including the holder and if I do remember an attachment category zero you need to have 20 inches between the arms but I'm going to double check that okay that's really 20 inches I need to have inside of the uh, arms I'm going to put and add a little pin between, let's say, a half inch. I'm going to weld this plate like this against this surface, against this one. To have a good weld inside, I, I, I open a hole right there to make a weld there. I'm going to tack weld this, confirm the uh, uh, adjustment. Hopefully it will not move that much. It always takes longer time to make video. And one proof of that is that I just figured out all the dimension, all the materials and then I was not recording anything. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to use the two holes at the top of the gear, gear case, but I don't want to rely on that to hold all the weight of the implement. I'm going also to attach to the frame. There's two holes already there. To do that, I'm going to use angular iron that I will fit under the frame or on the top, whatever. On both sides, like this, I'm going to slice a little piece of a two inch, something like that, that I will attach there. So they will be facing face to face. This one is a four by three. I'm going to use the four to get the maximum reach. And from one side to the other, I get 15 inches. 15 minus 4 minus 4, I'm remaining with 7 inches. That would be put in, in between. That's a half inch thick plate, 5 inch tall. It's going to be like this, right here. Two holes on it, and I'm going to weld like this on the sides.
while I'm there, I'm going to figure out figure out something about this. Maybe this could be a good hanging point there. I'm also going to use that uh, ratchet binder. I'm going to cut the handle there. I'm going to be able to increase the length or reduce the length of this. So it's strong enough, I'm just going to put a pin through the uh, eyeball. It should be like this. So what I'm going to do is to uh, cut down these threads. I'm not going to use that clevis because it's really too long. I'm going to cut down I'm, the cylinder is, uh, the, 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 the rod is going through this level into the uh, cylinder. I'm going to leave a few threads and I'm going to weld this. This is pretty much the uh, configuration I have to reach. That's the back of the tra tractor on the gear case. I'm going to reach with that cylinder just under the, uh, the fenders. I have to clear a little bit like this, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going like this. So I have to figure some way to hook up at the uh, bushing here, back to the uh, bracket. So I have one bolt going there. I could not go further this way because this is the gear case. I have to be within that bracket. I'm free to use all that space from the table up to there. I have to keep in mind that I will have to put a reinforcing gusset there because it's going to be uh, it's only quarter inch uh, thick material and I have to reach in between there and there. I can be closer like this. So I'm going to put a shim. could go up to there. I might just cut this 45 degrees and lift it up.
Now it's really the highest point I could reach because I'm just behind this. Actually, not touching the tail, but it's really, really, really close. So I could not expect better than that. So I have a 90 degrees. This one I'm going to cut it there. So I have the quick connector there. Perfect. Actually, I see perfect, but it's really kind of tight. It'll be hooking like this. I go there, and it's as close as the ground as I could expect to be. Lower than that, no, that doesn't make any sense. Wherever I go, it's not going to change much the way I'm going to have. Next is the uh, locking mechanism to lock in position the uh, attachment. So I assemble the uh, lower arm, I put the upper link. So that's what it does, it goes about four inch from the uh, ground up to maybe 16 There's quite a good flow in that pump because I'm not full throttle and it moves quite fast. What's next is going to be uh, doing the full weld everywhere. Remove those uh, temporary spreader and maybe a shot of paint. Yep. There's a small bump in the fender and the cylinder is going right into that bump.
I just finished this attachment. That's the first, very first attachment for this tractor. This is a hitch receiver, an inch and a quarter. I'll add some spacer there. It's only tack welded for now. I'm not going to put it to work too much now. regular 3-point edge that you could lift. This one is not going to be lifted, but you have to remember the first goal for that tractor was moving stuff around. So hitching a trailer is going to be the main task of this one. And as you know, if you have a trailer and this one goes up, I'm not always having a balanced trailer with some uh, tongue weight. It could be uh, even weight. So that's the case with the splitter. The splitter is a uh, well over a thousand pounds, but with the chute at the end, it get really uh, in a balanced 